We've had the current levy for the last 10 years. The current operating levy that the voters approved was for $415.60. That particular levy generates approximately $614,000. Of that $614,000, it comes from two, two sides. It comes from the state aid, which Minnesota provides, and that's about $138,000. And then the local residents in the levy itself um, provide about $476,000. The reason we're asking for a new referendum that will go to the voters in November is because the current operating levy that we have expires at the end of the school year. The new operating levy will be $723 per pupil unit. This referendum, if approved by the voters, will generate approximately $943,000. Of that $943,000, $213,000 will come from, from state aid, so the state of Minnesota pays for that, and the local residents would uh, provide $730,000. The new operating levy will allow us to maintain our current programs that we offer students. There really won't be a whole lot of money left over after we, we do that. Right now, the new operating levy would give us approximately $329,000 in additional funds. Of that $329,000, we have to take about $135,000 off the top because that's what we're projected to deficit spend for this current year. For the last two years, we've been cutting our budget. This year we cut about $240,000 off of our budget and we still deficit spent $135,000. When you take the deficit spending off the top of the additional dollars, we come out with about $194,000 that aren't encumbered in some kind of program. Even our reserve fund is not at the 5 to 8 percent that the state really recommends that every district has for um, anything from, from an emergency type of situation where you need additional dollars or the state changes some of their funding and you get less dollars, it allows us to have a reserve that we can use those dollars for in the case of an emergency. This is truly an investment in our students' future and in our community's future. If the new referendum were not to pass, if the public were not to approve this referendum, the district would end up cutting about $600,000. That $600,000 is made up of what we lose from our current referendum, plus the deficit spending, the $135,000 that we're projecting. That comes to close to $600,000. Because we're a people business, 80% of our current budget is really in wages and in benefits which means that it would be very difficult, if not impossible, to make these cuts without going into personnel. When you go into personnel, you lose either programming, class sizes go up, or you lose electives, none of which are good for our students. If we lose more than 2.5% of our current budget, that means if we go into debt more than 2.5% of our current budget, we go into what's called statutory operating debt. This district was in statutory operating debt in 2001. At that time, the state forces you to make a plan where you very much, in very great detail, explain to the state how you're going to get out of statutory operating debt, which very much includes cutting personnel. For a person that owns a $150,000 house, they would pay approximately $97 a year in additional taxes. This would be $1.87 a week or 27 cents per day. The operating referendum vote will be on November 6th. You'll be voting in your regular polling place and you can call the district office if you have any questions regarding where that where you would be voting.